The future of medicine is really orthobiologics and regenerative medicine. And to be here at the beginning of that is just a unique once in a lifetime opportunity. My name is Ken Zaslov. I've been in practice for over 30 years. I've come to Northville to join as the director of the Center for Regenerative Orthopedic Medicine that we're building here, first at Lenox Hill and then throughout the entire Northville system. My name is Nick Scaglione. I'm the chair of orthopedic surgery at Northwell Health. The field of orthobiologics is really rapidly advancing. The development of the Center for Regenerative Orthopedic Medicine really started with an idea to recruit thought leaders and the very best clinicians and scientific researchers to our program. We were very fortunate in identifying Dr. Ken Zaslov Ken had been a leader of numerous societies and had been at the forefront of numerous publications in the area of orthobiologics. Regenerative medicine utilizes cells that your body makes as well as factors from those cells that tend to decrease pain, decrease inflammation, and we hope to prove with further research that they can actually help to regenerate tissues or repair tissues. There's really two type of patients, you know, athletes, dancers, and actors, people who are very active and have an acute injury and need to get back to their work quickly. Then there's another group of patients who already have degenerative arthritis. They need pain relief. And rather than treating them with narcotics and other pain pills, we hope to be able to utilize these tissues to decrease pain in a very holistic way. The Center for Regenerative Orthopedic Medicine was born out of a vision to create a program that is patient-centric, clinically oriented, but associated with scientific rigor. Coupling Dr. Zaslov with a world-class scientific researcher, Dr. Dan Grandy, puts the very best people in place to be able to take this center to a whole new level. I'm Daniel Grandy. Our center is a multidisciplinary center, including physicians, surgeons, basic scientists like myself, located in the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research. Orthobiologics represents a significant paradigm-shifting approach to orthopedics. Prior to this, our goals were to fix or repair. Now what we're trying to do is use these orthobiologics as a prevention mechanism. That to me is a very exciting component of this. If you look at a curve of every human being in the US, a large percentage by age 70 or 80 have osteoarthritis. But once you injure some of those tissues at a young age, for instance, the ACL, you tear the anterior cruciate ligament, you tear a meniscus, you injure the cartilage, that moves that curve way up so people are developing osteoarthritis in their 30s and 40s. Historically, we've been able to replace joints and we have numerous types of surgical options. To be able to expand non-surgical options, I think is quite significant. We're beginning work in the lab at the molecular and cell level to bring healing potential that you have within your own cells. In your marrow, we have mesenchymal stem cell, and they will rush to the area of injury, and they will start to make factors that avoid infection, prevent scarring, and begin to try to regenerate new tissue. When we take these out of you and we prepare them in a minimally invasive way to not really damage them, and then inject those tissues back into you, they act like medicinal signaling cells. These cells are able to act almost like general contractors in that they bring in plans and then say, we need cells over here, you guys come here, do your work. They bring a little pharmacy, a little pharmacopoeia of proteins and important factors that will stimulate your body's own repair and certainly we know now will decrease pain and inflammation. If we could truly change the natural history of joint breakdown after a joint injury or slow the progression of osteoarthritis as we age, we may realize the holy grail in orthopedics.